Hello everyone and today I'm going to unscrew this uh, black and decker hammer drill and I'm going to show you what's inside. Well, I'm so sorry for a very bad background and let's get started. So the hammer drill can accept both the flathead and the Phillips screwdriver. Alright, so let's now pry open. So this is how it looks on the inside and you can see a lot of metallic uh, stuff here. So let's dig in. So here we have our drill chuck which is directly attached to the uh, gear system and this gear is driven directly by the armature shaft. And here we have the trigger which controls the angular velocity of this shaft. This is the hammer mode switch or the switch cover and let's take the chuck out. So what we see here are grooves apart from the gear you can see grooves that are perpendicular to the gear teeth and these are the grooves that actually create the hammer effect or the hammering effect. Alright so what we have here is a static piece of metal uh, which again has some grooves so these static grooves actually grind against those rotating grooves in the drill chuck and actually creates the hammer effect and what we have here is a lever which seems to actually activate this hammer you know kind of activate and deactivate the hammering effect and this is how it's actually switched using that plastic cover and I see and I really don't know how exactly that act activates the hammer effect maybe it has to do something with the spring I don't know so what we now have in our hand is the heart of the driller which is the motor with the both the rotor and the stator so as you can see here the rotor that is located behind the bearing which I will show you in a second is fed electricity through this carbon brushes which are pressed against the rotor windings uh, you, through a spring and here we have a bearing which kind of connects the plastic frame to this rotor uh, to reduce friction so if the carbon brushes wear out we can easily replace them let's try removing one of the carbon brushes see if it's that easy this part you can see it's so smooth after rubbing so many times against the rotor So there we got our stator which is attached to this little plastic plate and here we have the knob which actually controls the rotation in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So that's how it kind of works. Let's see how exactly it works. So I just twisted and removed the plastic plate from the stator. It was pretty easy actually. and. So this is what actually happens. You see this metal contact? We simply change the direction of the current by changing this connection. That's it.
do let us know what you think about this video bro thanks for watching all right so before the owner takes a look let's assemble it back into one piece first we'll put the one of the carbon brush into the slot and we will insert the rotor into the stator then we have to put another carbon brush by kind of pulling the springs and yeah that's how it goes